Hello everybody and welcome to the Granger Teacher CCCU Assembly. This is for the people of the Grange Year 5 and Year 6 learning community. We know what we are about at Grange and even though we say this every week, it's really important for us to reflect on it and get it again every week and go strong each week. The G of Grange is for a great caring attitude. We are people who do care. The R of Grange is for really trying our best. That's what we are about. It's no being scared and afraid we try our best. The A of Grange is for always learning, especially from our mistakes. Does not feel nice to make a mistake, really doesn't, especially a mistake that involved other people and then it like sort of stays with you for life. But the point is if we learn from our mistakes and we go higher, so we are always learning, especially from our mistakes. The second G of Grange is for going for improvement and progress. That's what we are about. Actually, not about whether we're better than somebody else or worse than somebody else. Not about competition. It's about improvement and progress. Always going to get better. The E of Grange is our education, which we use to help us to learn to make good choices as we go along in the journey of life. And the N of Grange, which we did not forget, is for never giving up. And that is who we are. We are Grange CC learners. That is what we are about. And at Grange, we say that the true strength is the strength of character. Character is who you really are. And when who you really are is strong and good, that is true strength. So Grange style, we say, to get true character strength, we live a life of balance, of confidence, looking after ourselves, looking out for ourselves, being the best that we can possibly be, and getting the best for ourselves, balanced with consideration. Considering, thinking about, and acting in a way of kindness and caring for everybody around us and for the world around us. If we live with that balance of confidence and consideration, the CC way, we will make the world a better place. We make life for ourselves better as well. Here are some Grange people of power who give us hope. The student council who led the brilliant protest to be better neighbours on Friday. That was amazing and fantastic feedback. All our Grange children do CC walking, CC salute, star sitting, really understand the meaning of it, not just doing it, but understand the meaning of it. The Grange children use reflection power and then learn from their mistakes to make good choices and go higher. And that's a really powerful part of Grange. We didn't say you made a mistake, that's it. You made a mistake, reflect, and then you can learn from it and then go even higher. All the Grange parent and carers who support us and support the Grange CC way. All our Grange adults who teach, care for, and help our children of Grange learn and make loads of progress. I'm so grateful to them. I was looking through some of the data from the teaching on this weekend and just wonderful. I was particularly looking at maths data and all our Grange adults who just help our children to be numerate. So that means to be able to read and write with numbers. Fantastic. All the Grange children are quick to be ready to learn, especially after break and other transitions. It's easy to be learning when it's time to be learning. But the thing is, you've just come back from the playground. You've just come from back from break. Your head's still in the game outside. But the point is, is your head in the game of learning right now? Focus, star sitting, track your speaker, get ready to learn. Yes, I had break. Yes, I had lunchtime. But I'm back in the zone, ready to learn. So give me such hope. And Alana and the Seacold team for their Ukraine creative help ideas, which is just amazing. We'll see more about that from Seacold. Just gave me so much hope. Well done. And all our Grange children who make consistently good choices. I'm just so inspired and proud of you. Our character strength focus today is the superpower of de-escalation. Now, you might have heard of the word escalator, which means to go. It's, it's a machine that takes you to go up. You might have heard to escalate, which means to go upwards. D, when you put that as a prefix at the start, means the other way. So de-escalate means to take it down, not to go up, but to take it down. If you can de-escalate, it means something is in real danger of getting too big, too powerful, too hot, too intense, too much of a problem. But you know how to de-escalate. Let's just bring that back down so we can have peace and we can actually sort it out before it, everything goes horribly wrong. That's the superpower of de-escalation. We have children who do see and people, all of us who do CC walking. That means we embrace the challenge. Yes, it's not easy in life to, to, to be your best and to try to become your best, but you go for it. We have star sitting. It's not easy to always concentrate and to learn and grow, but we do star sitting. We sit up straight. We track the speaker. We ask and respond like a scholar, and we respect ourselves and, each, and others by not distracting or allowing ourselves to be distracted. 
we know that there is no substitute for each of us. Nobody can live our best life for us. We have to do that. They can help us, but we have to live our best life. It's always about becoming our best. So the superpower that we're talking about, you know, I love the questions, pathways of learning. How strong am I really? And turning up the heat when it's hot already is easy, but can I cool it down when it's hot? When you've got a fight about to break out, when you've got people wound up already, everybody is hot. And you know that you can even feel when you get angry, you can feel that your body temperature is hotter. You feel yourself getting hot. Sometimes you can even see face goes red when one gets hot. It's easy to just crank up the heat and just like get the fight to just happen and go worse when it's already hot. But when it's hot, when somebody's angry, when somebody's irritated, when somebody's really, really feeling physically hot, can you cool it down? That takes real strength. So let's train the CC way. I'm going to start off but with something that I heard a lot of last week. Say it to my face. Say it to my face. Say it to my face. Now, I get it when people say, say it to my face. It's like somebody, you know, somebody's talking about you behind your back or they're hinting at something, but they haven't right, said it right out to you. And you say, you know what? Don't just say things behind my back. Say it to my face problem with saying, say it to my face, that escalates. That takes it to the next level because now the person feels like they've been called out. Now they have to come at you and you're already angry with them and everybody's angry and a fight and bad decisions get made in the heat of the moment. We are talking about the superpower of de-escalation. Now, you can see over here, it says fatal hazard. Fatal is when death is involved, so somebody could die. Hazard is a risk, something that could go wrong. So fatal hazard, something that could go so wrong, a risk of death, of fatal. And you can see somebody pouring petrol onto fire. Now, you've got fire already. When you pour petrol, it goes even worse and it's so dangerous, can kill somebody, but definitely cause damage, danger. When you say, say it to my face, it's like pouring petrol onto fire. But if we can have the superpower of de-escalation, which is a much, much more difficult thing to do, a much more challenging thing to do. If you're going to be, when there's fire and there's heat, you're going to be able to cool it down, here's another thing to say. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. doesn't say, say it to my face. Because the point is, sometimes if you know somebody's been talking about you behind your back, if you know things are going wrong, if you can see that there's a problem, let's talk about it is, let's really try and sort this out. We do need to talk about it. not just going to leave it, but let's talk about it. Even let's, you know, you also sometimes you can say, let's talk about it, but not like right there in the moment. Let's talk about it. how about we talk about it a little bit later over a coffee or over, you know, just just uh, in a nice, quiet, pleasant place. But let's talk about it is escalating. Let's talk about it can get us to the point where we have arms around each other, where we are friends. And we have the power of teamwork and we are all people of Grange. Things do go wrong. I mean, this last week I learned that as well. Things go wrong sometimes. But instead of a say it to my face or, you know, like um, threatening, stuff like that, if you have the superpower of de-escalation, look, let's talk about it is just a way to say, okay, you've got your point of view. I've got my point of view. Let's see if we can actually talk this out and sort things out. Because at the end of the day, peace and friendship is much, much better than fighting and arguing, which really nobody wants in that situation. So here's your discussion time. What good thing could you say to de-escalate a tense situation? So I've given you a script over here. Let's talk about it. What other things could you say when you see people really irritated, really worked out, really upset? What good things could you say to de-escalate a tense situation? Really worth thinking about because when we least expect it often, we suddenly land up in a fight. And actually, if you've practiced if you've trained the CC way to think of ways to de-escalate, it's really, really powerful and meaningful. Stars of our week, Golden Grange people, is Alana. Well done, Alana. Class champions, we've got Sophie and Zara and Alana from Seacole. We've got Irfan and Nikki and Natalia from Lister. All actually participated in the protest on Friday, which was just wonderful, making the world a better place. Peaceful protest. Dennis. Joshua and Rahima from Nightingale, and Michelle, Ilya, Medina, in, and Zara in Tubman, and Andre and Krasian and Nicoletta in Mandela. Fantastic to see you there. Blessing as well in Mandela. Well done. 
Bashir, sorry, Bashir, I missed an A over there. There's Bashir from Parks. There's Hania from Parks. Wonderful to see you guys there. Well done, everybody, class champions. Overall, an incredible 25,294 CC power points. And actually, the week before that, we only got 19,000. So I'm really impressed. That's brilliant. And that means classy class. Mandela class, so wonderful to see you back in the zone. Seco class, look at you back in the zone. But look at our classy class. Tottenham class with the chicks. 2,387. Proud of you. So we set ourselves a crazy ambitious target of half a million points. And for the first time this last week, we went under 100,000. We need 94,319. I worked out we need about 30,000 each week of the three weeks. We might make it, but we're definitely going to get to half a million before the end of the year. But I'm going to tell you, we are powerful, we are kind, we are loved, we are Grange, and we are going to make it, all of us at Grange, people of Grange. We've had the reindeer, we've got the chicks, that's what I was talking about in Tubman. Look at those chicks in Tubman, that's <laughs> fantastic, even though your teachers and educators stayed late to make sure the chicks are okay. So I hope you're enjoying those chicks, it's incredible to see the eggs and then the chicks. Let's give ourselves a CC salute. This is confidence. Each one of you, when you put your hand on your heart, you are thinking of yourself and give yourself confidence and be your very best. And then look at our beautiful planet, our beautiful world, incredible world, amazing, miraculous world. Just think of all the inhabitants of that world and circle outwards, consideration, think, and actions of kindness because kindness is strength and makes the world a better place. So CC salute to you. Be great. Be Grange. Let's live our lives with confidence and consideration. Let's enjoy the learning ahead. Great learning to come this week. Be safe and happy. Let's learn together at Grange. Let's respect each other at Grange. Let's achieve our potential, make the world a better place. Let's be great. Let's be Grange.